Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get from my website to print your own Pantone Colors of the Year for 2016. Uh, in case you guys haven't seen it, for 2016 the, uh, there's actually two colors. Uh, there's uh, Serenity Blue and the Rose Quartz. And so I've made a, a couple different variations of pattern papers that you can enjoy that show both of the colors and how nice they mix together with the gradation. So there's a linear gradation paper version. There's two circular ones, one that goes from the Serenity Blue into uh, the Rose Quartz and then vice versa. And then there's solid colors as well. And I was just going to show you guys how you could use uh, these to make a... Uh, uh, star box by using two sheets of paper in case you don't happen to have double-sided paper. So um, all of these are available on my website. You can download them for free, print them out. I will say that, you know, these are always tricky knowing exactly how they're going to print on everybody's printers. The colors might turn out a little different. Um, I did follow the, you know, um, uh, color information from the Pantone website when I made the template but it's still tricky to know exactly how things might turn out on your printer. So uh, play around with different printers if you have a chance to kind of see the different results um, or be prepared for them to look a little different than what you see here. But let me put these uh, to the side here. And uh, like I said, these are all uh, available for you guys to download for free there. Um, the uh, papers are all square and they're about 15 by 15 centimeters. Um, what I was making with this is a square box uh, Starbucks, excuse me, and I've already made this one, um, uh, Starbucks, and uh, this is actually the inside piece that I'm making. It helps when you're trying to do uh, double-sided origami projects where you're using actually two sheets of paper to first fold one of them backward, uh, you know, with the white side as the color side up to be the inside color, and then it's a little easier to keep everything together when you're done. You can certainly try to hold two sheets of paper together and fold everything like normal. That's definitely a way to do things, but I find that I get a little better results if I fold the first, uh, as I've done with this piece, treating the white side as the color um, and then the blue as the back side of the paper. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and take my other paper, which is the rose quartz paper here, and fold it like I would normally. So in this case, my color side is my color side. I want that to be facing down so that I can do a square base by folding my paper in half, both vertically and horizontally. And then I'm gonna have the color side facing up to go ahead and fold diagonally both ways too. This will give me the pre-creases I need to collapse down into a square base. If we look at it from the front here and fold it in half and push in, you'll see how everything shimmies around and creates a nice little diamond or square shape, which is where the square base gets its name from. Turn it around so you're looking at those flaps facing on the top, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the outer edge and roll it towards the center, fold it down, and then open this pocket up, allowing that creased edge to fold down into the center and smoosh out the edges. I'm just gonna repeat those steps for the other three sides here. And if you guys find I'm going a little too fast for you with this, uh, I have done a regular tutorial for this with actual dual cameras. So if you need a little extra help following the steps, you can look at that for uh, if you need the guidance of making this particular star box. But um, otherwise, I'm just going to kind of go through it a little quick here to kind of show you guys. but we'll get these folded down. And then I wanna actually uh, tuck these uh, parts here behind. So I find the easiest way to do that is to just fold one layer over, turn it over, do the same thing, so that we're now looking at the dark sides. And here we can just go ahead and fold in and on the other side too. And then what I've done in terms of steps for this already is I've also done the last step of just taking, almost the last step, taking these folds and folding them down. Um, and then that kind of gives me a chance to get all the creases except for the bottom box crease. I'll do that at the end, but I'll get all these completed. And then what you can do, 
seems a little counterproductive, but if you take everything and open it up gently, because you do have a lot of creases, you want to take your time. <laughs> And then also open up my other one here. So the outside of my box is going to be this rose quartz color and the inside of my box will be the serenity blue. So I've got this part kind of started and then we just kind of line it up together so that I can finish everything off and you can just sort of collapse everything back to where it was with this diamond shape with a square base here. You can pop things out to get these sides created. And you'll notice how easy it is to just put it all together because the creases are all completed already. It should just almost be super simple to just get all this to kind of fold together until you get all of that completed. And then you can just fold down the flaps and you'll notice there's a lot of paper now because we've got everything doubled up, but this is a nice way to get everything to kind of come together. And I'm gonna actually open these up for a second and we're just gonna make that bottom crease in the box so that we can open the box up when we're done here. There is a lot of paper because it's doubled over, but kind of try to make a good crease there to start things off with. And then you can just open stuff up from the inside, pop it out. Sometimes, as you notice with this, these do pop open more than they need to. But first, just try to get the base of the box popped open. I find these always pop open on me when I do this, but that's okay. We just want to first get the base done. Keep these guys folded over as you go. But you can get the base of the box there completed. And then just make sure you've got these flaps. You see how this one popped open. You just pull it back closed. Get the flap folded over so that everything stays nice and secure. But that should give you a cool little star box with the uh, Pantone 2016 colors of the year. There's two of them this year. Rose Quartz on the outside and then Serenity on the inside. And like I said, there's also uh, some other gradation versions of the paper available for you guys to enjoy too. I hope you can find some fun ways to use these colors. This is a fun, unique color combination this year for 2016. Um, again, the link for my website is in the description below. You can also click on the information circle that's running throughout the video in the top corner. That'll pop open a little window. Click there to get to my website to find these to download at home and print and make your own projects too. Um, thanks again, you guys always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.